12.3, extended free body diagrams. Now, what do we mean by this? Um, well, we know that um, all our free body diagrams, let's uh, go back to here, let's get some clean space. Um, before, all our free body diagrams, basically, what we would do is we would draw the center of mass and then any forces that are acting on this guy, okay? F, whatever, okay? And what our assumption was, was that even if the object looks something like this, okay, we would replace this, ex remember this is an extended object, extended object. It's not a, it's not a particle, it's an extended object, means, meaning it has um, a, a, a size, it has a shape, okay? But what happens now if you've got forces that are over there and there, for example, and another force there, and, and we want to um, calculate torques, for example, and, and we want to work with an extended object. Well, it's not that helpful to, uh, to just replace this with a, with a center of mass, okay? Uh, we need to draw the free body diagram, free body diagram of the extended <coughs> object and then draw all the forces that are acting on this object. Okay, I think it's pretty easy to understand that. All right, so, um, uh, and, and I actually haven't mentioned a, a very important thing that they mention here is that um, if, you, if you take an object that is, say now you have a pencil, okay? Again, use your imagination, that's a pencil. And you flick it, you hit it there, and it's going to rotate like, oh dear. It's going to rotate like that, and it's going to rotate like that. It's going to move like this, right? Um, if you just replace this guy with uh, its center of mass, okay, then you do not, all you are taking into account is its translational motion, okay? You are not, if you do not draw the extended free body diagram, then we cannot look at the rotation, okay? Does that make sense? All, all we can look at is this particle that's moving in a straight line, or the, the center of mass, Okay, so that is the idea here, is we must, we must uh, therefore develop a new kind of diagram that shows not only the forces exerted on an object, but also the location of the point of application of each force relative to some chosen reference uh, point. Such a diagram is called an extended free body diagram. So basically, we are drawing the free body diagram of the actual object. Okay? Alright, so in the next one, we'll do an example.